and welcome to your Go Market update for today, the 19th of May 2022, with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's come across the news today. And of course, overnight we saw equity markets plunge on Wall Street, the Dow down in excess of a thousand points, and it was the biggest one day drop since March 2020. And really, all the major indices back to test last week's lows. Just to put it into context, only eight of the S&P 500 stocks were to the upside. And really, we saw inflation bite more than expected into retail earnings. We had Target reporting weaker than expected on the back of Walmart the previous day. And that spooked markets significantly as, of course, we're starting to see, in essence, the impact on the consumer. US futures are negative in early Asian trading, though slightly off the lows, and Asian indices are all to the downside after that weak US lead, not surprisingly. ASX is down over 1.5%, though again has recovered slightly from the initial lows, and European futures are pointing to a lower open, not surprisingly. The US dollar index moved higher, though bond yields were interestingly weaker as investors look to move into safe assets, and of course, that buying pressure on treasuries pushed prices up and yields down. Gold is just about holding over 1800 this morning in Asia. Really didn't move very much at all yesterday and we saw drops in oil and copper. And not surprisingly, as that market fear returned, we saw the VIX back over 30. Bitcoin was not exempt from being under the cosh a little bit and we saw it drop below that critical 30,000 level again after failing to break through earlier in the week. It'll be interesting to see if we hold that level. We'll have a look at a Bitcoin chart in a moment. On the data front, we've got Australian employment numbers out. We've got US weekly jobs, manufacturing and housing data, the major releases later on this evening. So let's have a look at a couple of charts. And as I said, let's just check out Bitcoin. You can see there that failure to break 30,000 in essentially the last six trading sessions. It had a pop at 30,000. And now we look as though we're heading back down to very temporary support at 28, which was the low close from last week. Whether we break through that and capitulate down towards 25 remains to be seen, of course. But certainly there appears to be no appetite for cryptos at all. Very little to shout about on the ASX, but interesting to see Whitehaven Coal holding its own. We talked about a break back through $5 been important. And we had a strong day yesterday taking us to a high close but you can see here that although we opened low back towards that five dollar level we've bounced pretty well so there appears to be still some interest in this stock and that's one of the things that we would suggest during market pullbacks like we've seen today just have a look at which stocks appear to be resilient as clues to where the market is sitting overall Expect more volatility as we go forward. It is still, as we've said many times, it's still a medium to high risk market and critical will be the US indices holding above last week's lows. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.